Well, folks, I have returned. I have a lot of things here. It's 18.30 at night. I guess we're going to get out. Go scout around. Be all quiet and stealthy. Sweep around the house, make sure it's clear. It is not. Most certainly. We got problems. Alright, well, I got a pan for you. One down. Come on, you. Go down. Oh, that's broken. Alright, well, we need to get moving. Because apparently there's issues. We got zombies everywhere. Alright, I'm gonna go out and I'll come back to my house. First, I gotta dip over here. Draw them away from my home. Let's get over this. Yeah, I'm pretty much running out of... Why don't I have boots in my inventory? Funny thing is, I've been playing like another playthrough of this. Let's throw this on my belt left. I can handle onesies and twosies, no issue. I think I've already checked that house. Alright, I think we've drawn them away enough, and I can deal with these guys one-on-one. -on -one. Resort to the curb stomp. Come on, you. Alright, well, you're dealt with. Alright, you're coming my way, good. The goal is to kind of draw them away from the house and kill them off. Maybe one by one. I don't want to break my screwdriver or my hammer because they're not in great condition. Okay. Well, they've been dealt with. I guess we'll go check out the trailers while we're at it. Our health is good. We're not doing bad. I can't remember how many of these we've already checked. This is why having the paper map up and then actually marking it off is really good. Okay, so that door is closed. Usually I leave doors open if I've looted them. That's one of my preferred methodologies. Come on, you. Come on, you. Yeah, I've been striking out in this, this game. I've been playing a lot of other playthroughs on my own, and uh, I'm not getting jack on this. Like Normally by now I have a backpack of some kind. Come on, get over. One-on-one -on -one zombies are not bad if your guy's not weak and doesn't panic. All right, that's broken. Let's see if I can jimmy this window. Uh, apparently not. He's just gonna give up. Apparently I broke that window a while ago. No? How about this one? There you go. All right, what do we got? Sugar. Dish towel, don't care. Oh, butter. We're gonna go keto. Eat nothing but sticks of butter. Well, I could use this as a weapon. Stab somebody in the eyeball with a spoon. What do we got? Empty mug, that doesn't really do much for me. Hairspray. That's good for some weaponry if you want to make something into a weapon. Nothing in here, okay. First off, let me turn the TV off. You can actually learn stuff from watching the TV in here. It's not like real life, where, you know, TV's worthless. <laughs> Alright, out we go. We've officially looted this house. What do we got going on down here? We got like two zombies. There's a couple of trailers I don't think I've looted. There's a street down there, I think that leads to houses. I'm going to go down that way. In fact, I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat half of my watermelon. <laughs> I'm just going to take big chunky bites out of it. Dude will be nice and full. Oh yeah, stuffed. Half a watermelon. You know, at one point back in my childhood, I was like, I love watermelon. I'm going to eat a whole bunch. I ate too much and then puked up a bunch of water. Good times. Good times. Let's go check this out. 
down this street. He's going to do a little bit of recce every once in a while. See one. They're going to be more in this wood line. There's another back there. Come on, you. I'll stab you with a spoon. A little bit. Spooned his face off. Alright, another one down. I was hoping he'd have a weapon or something. Another lumberjack type dude. Yeah, there's too many for me to really deal with right now without a weapon. Did I draw something? I drew one. Ah. I'm gonna come up here and cut through this wood line here. This little gap in the trees. Dude's getting hot. Alright, I see a small cluster of zombies there. Aha. Uh -huh. Wanna go check that out. Well, grocery stores can be quite useful for loot. I might have to go into the woods and start. Oh no. <laughs> I guess I'm not gonna go check that out. I was gonna go check out that dumpster, but then they decided to go that way, so. Okay. Well, we're gonna go in and do some dirty work. Why am I so sweaty? <laughs> I don't get it. Come on, one of you has to see me. One of you has to see me, come on. Or not, you know, that's cool. Like it is, it's gonna get better at being sneaky. Slowly getting up there. There is a car. I'm gonna go up there. Forget that dumpster. There's not usually anything good in there besides like a lollipop. So that door's been beaten down. That can be handy. Got a couple of zombies out here. I've cleared most of these. We'll check this out. We'll see if there's anything in the trunk. We'll smack this dude down and curb stomp him. I don't want to waste my lovely hammer. Come on. There we go. Let's check this out. Doors are open. That leads me to believe I've already looted this. Butter knife. Kettle. More butter knives. I'll verify there's nothing in here. But the wood can be actually useful. Don't need any of that. I could dry myself off. Nothing there. I always gotta check because maybe I ran out of here in a hurry. But you never know. Yeah, I'll grab that for now. The worst, I can use the 2x4 as a weapon. I'll take those. Okay, let's go check out our house. That is not ours. There's a bunch there. Let's go sweep our house real quick, see what we've got going on. Alright, we got somebody's attention. Try to take him. We'll take at least one of those. This guy shouldn't be too hard. My guy's getting tired. It's getting late. Hoping I can sneak back into my house and sleep upstairs. Come on. Man. Hey, you got a revolver. I got two. Do either of these have ammo? No. Crap. Let me go ahead and equip in both hands, and we'll beat things over the head if we can. It's better than nothing, I will say that. Alright, we've drawn one in. Come on, you. Come on. Come on, you dummy. Just swinging away. Two down. You stay down. Don't you get up on me. Oh, we got somebody's dog tags. I'll take those from them. Reported up the chain. Alright, let's 
come up here. I think we've cleared our house a little bit. Let's sweep around the rear, make sure it's good. I hear something. I just don't see it. There's two or three over there. Okay. Well, they're far enough away where I don't have to worry about it too much. I do need to deal with these corpses eventually. Whew. Running away from the house is probably smart because then we don't have them breaking our stuff. Oh, okay, well. I'm going to go drop off my watermelon. What's left of it anyways? Where is it? You get in there. I'm out of water in that water bottle. Not cool. Do I have any more food on me? I have butter. Butter can go in there. Need to get more sheets. I might steal the curtains from upstairs and block up the last couple of windows that are left. Alright, that window's good. I'm gonna come over here and drop off some stuff. So I can leave this plank right here. Where is it? Drop that off in that. I'll take all this broken stuff and drop it in here with it for now. We'll drop off both of these revolvers because they're both empty. And that does me no good. It's going to start dropping a bunch of stuff in here. Oh, I got sugar. That can go in there. I'll keep that in my desk. Cool. Those can go in there. I've already read that, so I can just go in there. Now we're getting not heavy now. This is good. I need to organize this, so we might as well do that now. So we'll just throw all the meds over here. Everything else can go over here. Got a whole first aid kit. That's good. Let's see. Let's take that. Anything that's cleaning related or not first aid related is going to get chucked over into the other cabinet. Cool. Drop you into that one. Again, organization is very important in this game, especially early on. If you don't do it now, it's going to cost you a lot of time later. Often stashing go bags in different places is smart too, because the zombies never really stop coming. Just FYI, if you've never played this. All right, let's uh, throw these beta blockers in here. Beta blockers are really only good for like stopping panic. I fill up my water bottles. All right, my guy's getting a little, a little tired. I got a little bit of stuff left. I'll probably drop this off downstairs, but for now, let's call it a night. Much like me, wakes up the crack of dawn. Actually, before dawn even happens. So I could go through and work on my carpentry skill. I've got the multiplier up a little bit. I'm going to get my guy reading before we go out in the night. I think I hear a zombie out there. Let's close that door. Yeah, I hear something outside. That's probably not good. Let's get that carpentry up and then we can start disassembling doors and stuff that we don't need. Maybe the extra beds. Oh, we already did disassemble one bed. The bunk bed, I think. Oh, that multiplier is getting up there. I think it can get up to like two times. Now we're getting through some of the pages. All right, that's good with that for now. Let's go see if we have a book on cooking. Really would like a bookshelf. So I've, I have not read that. Let's go ahead and read these pamphlets. Keep the lights off. I don't want to draw a zombie's attention. So fishers for beginning or beginners. Mechanics for beginners. These are all good to read early on. Get that skill boost. So in case you do come across stuff that you're going to work on, you can. 
We've got two planks, so we can board up some more windows or reinforce the boarding. Uh, what else we got? Let's read how to make a snare trap. This is like Seer School stuff. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to read this last one and learn how to make other traps, and then we're going to drop these back in here. Uh, oh, I like to le wait until like 5 a.m. ish, because then the sun starts coming up. Drowsy already. Yeah, come on, man. Need to eat. All right, I think we're done with these pamphlets. Fortunately, we've learned a little bit. I'm going to chuck this in there. Chuck that in there. I'm going to throw this in here because it's more of a crafting tool. I don't really need all that water. So I'll drop that downstairs. I'll put this in my desk. Actually, I'll wear this guy's dog tags. It's a good luck charm. Man, all I've got is a fanny pack. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, I need one more sheet. I think that's it. So I could bring one from upstairs or something. I hear zombies out there. I could drink a little cup of coffee. Enjoy my life a little bit. Reduces fatigue. We got red wine. This is not bad. This is fairly organized. Kinda. Do worry about hearing that zombie out there. It's five o'clock. Let's go. Let's go sweep the base. I could board this window up and this window up. I hear a few over there I'm trying to live amongst these enemies. Just gotta be careful about it. Wait till we get some actual weaponry. <laughs> I can deal with these zombies effectively. All right. So, zombies, zombies. I would like to get out there, but I gotta wait a little bit. I'm thinking going up here might be a smart move. Although I think that house alarm went off or something, if I remember right. One of these did, somewhere. My guy needs to eat, so let's put that away. Go and look at what we have. Hmm. Can I make anything interesting? I don't think I really have any knives. So let me grab a bread knife. Let's take that. What can we cut up here? We can slice up our bread. Oh yeah, we can. Just gonna cut up some bread. Can we make a sandwich? Let's go over here. Let's create a sandwich, uh, I guess out of random stuff. Let's do that. Random veggie sandwich, cool. Wish I had peanut butter, that'd actually be really useful. Let's do one out of random condiment. This is gonna be a butter sandwich, it sure is. <laughs> let's add some tomato. Let's make this into a real sandwich. Let's add a little bit of lettuce. I'd bake it, I'd make it a BLT. Let's add some carrots. The guy's gonna do some cooking. Getting some practice. Uh, let's add lettuce to this one. Let's add a little bit of butter to this one. It's gonna be great. Is there anything else I can add to this? Let's go ahead and eat a whole sandwich. Those are great travel, travel foods, finger foods. Now I probably should have washed my hands first. That is gross. All right, we're stuffed. Oh man, nice. All right, well, let's drop this back in here, this back in here, a little bit of this. Let's drop our veggie sandwich in here. It's not Vegemite because that's gross. Uh, <laughs> let's drop. No, not drop, drop. I meant to drop it in here. Go ahead and look at the ground. Somehow I just dropped them both in there. Put those in the fridge. Good. Let's see, what do we got? We have a bunch of stuff here. 
Uh, I'm gonna put my bread and butter knife away. Probably in there. Let's put the sugar in this one. Lighten our load a little bit. Alright, let's go adventure out. It's nice and light outside. So, I think... Right now, I'm just gonna go down this way, button hook over here. We'll see what's back this way, besides a horde of zombies over on that side. Let's bring this down. So we got those zombies we're gonna watch out for. We don't wanna anchor them, or if we do, draw them this way. All right, that little cluster has moved over here. Seems that these guys have moved up that way. I might be able to loot this house now. Let's go check it out. Oh, there's a car with a, with a trunk. And it's locked. Crap. Let's sweep around here. Pie this corner a little bit. I think we're clear. All the windows are broken. This is one I've started to loot a while ago, but, uh, well, ransom resistance. Alright, I think we're clear. What do we got? Nothing. Bupkis. Alright, there's no medicine cabinet there. Is there anything in here? Mortar and pestle could be handy. I'll take that. Uh... Food? No, no food. Oh, look at that. We got a key. Let's see what books they've got. I'll take the metal working magazine. Oh, I got the key for this car. Plastic bag. I'll take the screwdriver. Cool. Let's check out what this car is good for. Is it broken? We'll see. We'll see what we need to get this thing up and running. Uh, looks like overall condition is 59%. It's drivable. Suspension is a little jacked. How are we doing on fuel? Is there any? Nope, it's out of gas. So it needs gas and it should run. Well, we've got the key for this bad boy, so that's awesome. We're no, in no position to take up a car, though. <laughs> so let's keep moving. There's a small horde there. I may have upset this group. So we're going to deal with that. Come on. Come on, you. Die already. One down. My dude's getting tired. We're gonna try to loot this trailer. Well, actually, that's weird. The door's on the wrong side. Door's been broken down. I can get some wood from that, though. I'll take those. Maybe we'll go back to the base and do some carpentry. I stopped there because I thought I heard something. Nothing there, nothing I really care about there. I'll definitely take the coffee. I'll take the coffee mug. Sugar, sure. Salt and pepper is always good. Anything in the fridge. Ice cream. Well, that'll make my guy happy. Don't care about any of that. Some socks. Earbuds, I'll grab those. I have anything in here? Take the radio. In fact, I'll take the pens because they can be useful later. Just turn that bad boy off. Can I make a cup of coffee? Because if I can, that's great. Fill everything. If I can make that here, that's great. Uh, let's go ahead and... Look at this. Can I create beverage? Coffee. We'll alleviate some of his issues. <laughs> Can I just put this in the oven? I can't remember how this works. I think you do. It's usually you put it in the microwave, but... Let's turn that on and find out. I mean, theoretically, this should work. It's just not ideal. <laughs> Yeah, just toss your coffee cup in the oven. It's totally fine. 
Yeah, it's cooking it. Come on, just a little bit more. A little bit more. Grab it. And turn that off. Alright, bro. Let's drink a whole cup of coffee. Mmm. Delicious cup of joe. Should alleviate some of his, uh, tired issues. His fatigue should go down. Good. There we go. Let's get out of here. Let's go sweep this side and see what we've got in this area. We do have that car, which is great. I see a house. I'm really hoping I find a backpack of some kind. I don't even care if it's like a little kid's school bag with Spiffo on the back. It's a small cabin-ish brick house. That's an issue. <laughs> That's an issue. Well, we have weapons, like we can deal with these guys. It's just right now we don't really have weapons. We have tools. All right, let's see if we can sneak in. Quietly loot this house. All right, that side's clear, good. All right, let's get out of here. We just have that up. Okay, well, that's fine. They can beat on that door all they want. I'm going to try to sneak in this room and loot it. Take that dumb zombie. Nothing. Uh, okay, that's not what I want. Nothing. There's nothing in there. Somebody at the door. <laughs> Sneaky. Well, I can put on this jacket and that'll actually help me uh, with scratch defense. I'll put it on. So he's got a belt. Alright, let's get out of here. Out we go. See us suckers. At least we drew them over here. So now we can come around this way and then see what's going on. See a sucka. Alright, there's a gated-ish community over there. Not great. Not great. We still haven't gotten anything out of this that we need. Let's see if I can sneak in here and get anything out of this house. We probably need to head back to the, the house and take a nap. There's at least one there. Looks like they woke up. I have another screwdriver, so I could work on my stabbing game, but this guy should just be able to push over. And curb stop. Great. He's down. What do we have inside this place? Oh, we got a zombie that's about to fall over. Stabbed her right in the butt with a screwdriver. Odd choice, but you know, it's a choice. There's a lot of zombies right there. I don't think that's something I want to deal with. <laughs> Let's start pulling back. Whoa, they started migrating a little bit. Gotta watch out for that. They do shuffle around. All right, good. This field's still clear. We got a nice little horde there we gotta watch out for. Just keep it moving. How's our skills doing? We're starting to get close on leveling these up. That's good. That house is clear. We have access to that car, but it doesn't move yet. Check this house again, but I don't think there's anything in it. Oh, I tripped. And I scratched myself. Crap. Dropped my beret, dropped my screwdriver. That's why you gotta be careful running over stuff. I gotta get inside and patch myself up. Alright. In we go. Man. 
What do we got? We've got first aid kit. Let's go ahead and equip that in my secondary. All right, let's go ahead and disinfect this. Make sure it's good to go. It's just a little scratch, so it's not bad. Uh, we'll, we'll apply an adhesive bandage. We don't want to use a big one. All right, we're good to go there. Let's fill all of this up. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I got like a suture needle. Nice. Nice. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and unequip this. I'm going to put some stuff up. I mean, this is most of what you got to do on this. Probably going to disassemble that fancy low glass table. 15% chance, not great. I don't really need all these chairs. Yeah, there's a lot of work that needs to go into this. Uh, we've got a cold pack in here. Well, it's not cold. Weird. I figured that would get cold. Should. Let's put this in here. Uh, start dropping off other stuff. Salt, pepper. Let's drop the coffee off. Drop off the sugar. What else we got? We got two planks we've been carrying around. Oh, I think I grabbed them out there, so that's fine. Uh, I need some nails. I think that's the issue. We don't really have nails. So I'm going to go ahead and start dropping stuff off. We'll throw this mug of water, this mortar and pestle. Uh, let's go ahead and move upstairs. My guy's going to need to sleep for a bit. Problem is he's going to be up way late at night. I could get out there and start, I guess, gardening a little bit, but it's not going to be able to, wa I'm not going to be able to water things. Well, let's read this. We'll learn how to make a metal fence. You guys are ridiculously tired. Not good. I got this little radio. It doesn't really help me right now. It's more of a multiplayer thing, I think. Which is apparently almost there. Almost there. Let's drop these off in here. I think we've got it. We've already read that. So let's drop you off. Let's drop you in here, you in there. Let's finish reading this. All right, we finished reading that guy. I'm gonna drop this back in here. What else do I need here? Anything? Can I drop this off? Let's put our beret back on. I'm gonna put this medical kit back up because I don't need it on my person right now right there uh what else do we have anything else we can drop off I'll put this radio on my desk drop that off drop off the pins great we are down to the bare essentials uh, I got a dirty bandage. Probably need to patch that up, swap it out. Uh, let's see. Can I wash everything? Let's do that. Let's get everything nice and clean. Then I'll have my guy take a little, a little napsky poo. All right, that's probably good enough for now. I'm gonna have my guy take a little, a little rest. In his good quality bed. Looks like his body's okay now. So I think he healed up. I could probably take that bandage off. Alright, we've still got time to do stuff at night here. Good. Let's go ahead and wash. Not enough snow soap. What? Why do we not have enough soap? Well, I'm gonna wash myself. I'll get myself nice and clean. We'll take off this bandage whenever we get the chance. I might try to disassemble more stuff. Or maybe I need to read my book first. Get through Carpentry for Beginners. Dedicate this day more towards maintenance of self. Alright, 
clean, bandages off, we're still scratched. Can I wash anything else? Nope. Okay. Let's get this first aid kit out. It's kind of annoying. Let's get out. Put that in my primary. Let's go ahead and bandage my left hand. Put a real bandage on there because then we can actually wash it. And I'll put this back. It's always hard to find this stuff sometimes. Uh, okay. Let's head on downstairs. Can I do anything with that scrap wood? I don't think so. Does this act as a weapon? Nope. <laughs> it does nothing for me. Well, that's not equipment. I'll go drop that outside. Maybe I'll move bodies. Eat myself a little sandwich. Move some bodies out to the road so they're not just rotten here. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Go ahead and eat my veggie sandwich. And get to work. Let's sweep the base first, make sure there's nothing hanging out out here. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and take all the clothes off. We'll drop all those off here because those can be used for stuff later. Take all that, drop that on the ground. It's kind of weird. I know I'm stripping zombie bodies. Take all that and drop that on the ground. And we'll drop you on the ground. I'll start moving these bodies right now. Let's grab that corpse. Wow, hey, my guy's already drowsy. That's why taking that restless sleeper is terrible. Start dropping them off out here. This will be like the graveyard. So where multiplayer will be good. And I think when multiplayer kicks off, I'll probably start up a little server. Or we'll start doing some stuff, maybe. I don't know. I always say I'm going to do that, and then I get way too busy with work in real life. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move all these, and I'll come back to you. Well, if something interesting happens. Well, I've attracted one zombie here. I've moved all those corpses. I'm starting to move this one. And we got to deal with this guy. Come on, you. I mean, I like your shirt. It's a good color. He's got a wallet. Oh, he's got a map. That's handy. Well, I guess we're going to work on moving your body. Let's grab that corpse. Let's get to moving. I don't know if this increases your strength and fitness levels, because I'm doing pretty good, I think. He's starting to get tired, but that's fine. That'll actually get us on task, time-wise. Let's drop you. Okay. I want to get this corpse out of here. We'll probably deal with those the next day. I'm just kind of doing base maintenance. I'm going to start disassembling things in this little house. And then, uh, well, we'll get some stuff. And then the idea is to start rebuilding this house up, barricading it up, really fortifying it. Let's drop this guy off. I think we're still good out here. No zombies in the immediate area right here. I can disassemble a bunch of stuff in these uh, trailer houses. It'll build my skill and get me stuff. Okay, let's go over here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and equip one of these on my left belt. Oh, that's a full one. Oh, look at all the stuff I can disassemble. All right. Let's get to work. Let's get rid of this table. Let's we'll see what we get from it. If I can move these boxes, that'd be great because it's good storage. I can't remember if you can. You might be able to. I think if I pick this up. Yeah, I think I can pick stuff up. 
right, what do I get out of this? Oh, we got a plank. Apparently need a saw to disassemble that. Okay, that's just the TV. Let's see, can I disassemble a fancy toilet? No. Let's disassemble the twin beds. We'll build that skill a little bit. Hopefully this doesn't break my hammer. What do we get? A couple of nails, maybe? Oh, we got one nail. And a plank. Uh, let's see. What else can we take? I'll take that plank. I mainly want to get like one more. Oh, I can disassemble the door. That's good. Just need a screwdriver. Nope, I guess we need the hammer for that. Just gonna beat the door down. So doing this stuff can draw zombies, so you gotta be careful with that. Make sure your area is clear. I don't know the exact distance. Oh, we're slowly scaling up in this. Alright, what do we get from that? Another plank. Good. No nails. I'll take the door hinge. Is there anything in that box? Can I just pick this up? I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to pick this up. Alright, I think I have in my inventory. I do. Oh no. Let's put that there. I'm going to beat some zombie faces in. Come on, you. This is bad. This is bad. This is not as bad now. Oh, crap. One down. Two down. Whoa, lost my beret. We got somebody's house key. I'll take that. I'll take this house key as well. Well, we took some slight damage. I think we're fine now. Come on, give me that key. Man, did my shirt get broken? I think my shirt got broken. I'm just down on my t-shirt. Well, that's the problem with disassembling things. I guess we'll deal with that in a bit. Let's go back to our base. We're getting tired. I might be able to start working on that house now. Can I barricade that window? I don't think I have enough nails to do that. No, not yet. Let me just drop all this stuff on the ground. Alright, we got that there. Good. I like to eat. So, when you eat, you actually increase your healing. Let's create a sandwich. Where is that sandwich? Let's add butter. Make it a butter and veggie sandwich. We'll toss. No, not that in the fridge. You don't want to put your bloody shirt in the fridge. Uh, let's drop this for now. Cool. We're going to eat that. And we're going to get our guy into bed. Maybe do a little reading first. Let's go get that carpentry book. This needs to get organized. This is bad. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, let's see. We've got our carpentry for beginners. We're going to grab that and do a little reading. We've got like four planks. That's not bad. Do we have any nails in here? Looks like no. Oh, we do. We actually have three nails. 
So I can take this and actually, I can actually go down here and barricade these windows up, which is something I want to do. Let's try to do that before bed. Come on. I think we'll be good. Uh, barricade the window. Let's barricade this one. You can barricade these, I think, with three planks total, or you can weld a metal sheet on there. All right, cool. We got a little bit done there. That's not bad. Not bad at all. How's our skill doing? Probably should have read the book a little bit more before we did that, but whatever. We're going to go ahead and read this. And then get to bed. All right, we got a little ways in. We're going to get to sleep now. So goes another day. I think our hand's good. Can remove the bandage. Yep, looks like it healed up nicely. Good. I've got some bandages in here. I've got a varsity jacket. I could put that on. That's going to be a little hot, I think. It's a little bloody. Let's drop this shirt in here. I'm going to put this jacket back on. I can take these and make a sheet rope and use that as an egress point to get out of this building. If we get overrun. I think we're mostly fine. I'm going to go ahead and take this curtain, which is really just a uh, a sheet. And we're going to put it on one of these windows down here. Actually, this door is what I need to add the sheet to. Let's close that curtain. I think we're good. All right, nice. We got a bunch of bodies we have to deal with, so I may work on that some more. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's take all these clothes off them because I can use those to make sheet ropes. It can be used for kindling, all kinds of stuff. No, come on. Come on, give me all their stuff. Drop it on the ground. Why can't I drop it on the ground? Oh, I wasn't close enough, okay. Stripping zombies, don't worry about that. Drop all that stuff right there. And let's start moving bodies. One at a time. I could bring the car over here if I had gas in it, and then I could uh, load them in the trunk and drive them around. That is an option. Yeah, you definitely want to bury these corpses eventually because they start stinking and drawing more zombies and it can be bad for you. It's a little foggy. Temperature is dropping a little bit. Say so we'll move these. Probably try to do a little bit more uh, carpentry where we can. Sometimes you got to do maintenance on your base and that's like the entire day getting real foggy. I think they can make uh, sound carry a little bit more in the game. I want to move those cardboard boxes out of that house over here. Maybe steal them from that little shed that's up there on the street. Really reduces your visibility too, so you got to watch out for that when this fog comes in. You can use that to your benefit, but it can also be bad for you. Alright, I mainly want to get this corpse, and then, um... Maybe that one. I want to clear everything out from the front of my house. Alright, let's drop this guy. Go ahead and take off our jacket, I think we have on. Uh, I'll equip that. Cool. We're getting somewhere. Can I disassemble that? Nope. <laughs> I need the welder's torch. I am nowhere near having that. Is there anything in the mailboxes? I don't think I've checked these. 
Nope. Okay. Let's go check these houses out real quick. I'm going to recheck this, see if I can grab that crate so I can use it for storage. I'm going to whip out my screwdriver just in case I need to shift somebody. I hear one. Ah, there you are, my friend. Come on, fall over. Okay, well, I <laughs> pushed him right out the window. Where'd you go? Oh, I always hate that. Stab you in the face. There you go. What you got on you? Let's get the house key. Always handy to take those. I think those are useful for something, the credit cards. I'll take that. I might take the rest of the stuff and bring it back, but not right now. So there's a nice little trunk I could bring back with me. Which has plaster powder. That is useful for some things. Uh, can I move this? This is something I really want to take back. Let's get rid of that. Just need to move that thing at least. R. Oh, God. No, I want to take... <laughs> I want to take this gray lamp. And I want to put it down. This is, like, not, not the best. No, I don't want the curtains. What the hell? <laughs> How did that even happen? Okay, let's try putting this over here on this table. Jeez. There. Not my problem now. Now I can take this. Pick this up. Guess we're taking it up from the ground. Okay. Let's get over here. Uh, yeah, so you can pick up anything pretty much that isn't nailed down. If it is nailed down, obviously, you can still pick it up. We're going to take this, slam the door on my face. <laughs> I'll drop this guy right here. I think I can anyways. Did I not pick it up? Well, this is weird. Where did my thing go? I'm very confused. Where did it go? <laughs> I'm going to drop this on the ground. So I don't want to deal with that right now. Make sure my door is closed. Where did my, where did that thing go? Did it poof on me? I hope not. I really want that that bad boy. Where did it go? Did it just vanish? I feel like it's somewhere in my inventory. <laughs> I just can't see it. Uh, I don't, I'm not overburdened, so I guess I just disappeared it. Hmm. That's only got room for 10 things. It's not very much. All right, well, I guess moving on. I'm going to go check out this house now. See if there's anything of value in here besides a bunch of dead zombies. All right, nobody's seen in here yet. Dead rat, sugar, some mugs. Baking pan. Not seeing anything I need. Hey, you. Turn off. So there's some kind of fencing there. Oh, yeah, there's that house. I don't think there's much up there besides that field. So we'll come back over here, see if there's anything on the bookshelf. Is there anything I haven't read? I'll take that engineering magazine. Let's go upstairs. I think I've already pretty much looted this place. Hard and heavy. Uh, I could disassemble a few things. Got to pick this up. <laughs> I would love to. I'd love to bring that back because I don't have one in the house. Oh, I have one. Never mind. 
I lied. Anything in the trash can? No. I think this door is not going to work. Okay, well, I think we've accomplished quite a bit here. Mostly just base maintenance. Uh, getting rid of dead bodies, moving them. We disassembled a little bit here. Almost got killed in the process, which is not good. But we're going to go in. We barricaded these. Slammed the door on my face again. But, uh, yeah, we'll probably disassemble all this crap. It's 15. How about the chair? No. So, yeah, we can disassemble a lot of stuff and really open this place up a bit. But I'm going to go ahead and probably call the episode here. Thanks for joining me, folks. Hope you had fun. I did. Got a little, got a little spooky there. But, hey, we made progress. Incremental progress. But thanks for joining me. Take it easy, and I'll catch you next time.